First guest tonight is uh, an Emmy Award-nominated actress. She stars in a, a, a wonderfully popular television program, Scandal. Have you seen the show, Paul? Sure, sure. Yeah. I love the show. Mm -hmm. Its uh, third season premieres tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Guess what? On another network. Ah. Here's the very lovely Carrie Washington. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Pretty much good. You look, okay. you look wonderful, by the way, and thank you very thank much. You. And congratulations uh, on uh, the Emmy Awards. And, uh, you the went nomination. Out. Yeah. Did yeah. you go out there with your uh, family? I did. I brought my parents um, because it was a special night. I was nominated and I was presenting with Diane Carroll. It's a big night yeah, for everybody. Yeah, and I thought it would be really special for them. My parents are sort of conservative. My mother in particular, she's a professor. She's kind of scholarly. What, what does she and teach? She's a, pres she's a retired professor of education. Oh, so she teaches buddy. teachers to be teachers. Yeah, that's right. So she's very serious. So now, as a kid, when yeah. your mom was all busy being oh. an educator, what was it like for you? Crazy? She would pre-grade my papers. Yeah. Like, I would get my homework handed to me covered in red circles. Sure. Yeah. But it, it meant I did you're well at school. You're better for it then, aren't you? I guess so. so I you... once got in trouble because I told a teacher who was upsetting me, my mother teaches people to do what you do. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. It, was, it didn't go so well. Well, that's not good. Yeah, no, it wasn't good. So anyway, you take mom uh, there to the Emmys. Yes, I took her to the Emmys, and we went to all the fancy parties. Mm -hmm. Cocktails? The, yes, the HBO after party. Um, <laughs> my mother's favorite show, other than Scandal, is Game of Thrones, mm. which I love. It's a great show. And... I knew that this, she used to hang up on me if I called her when it was on. So I saw the actor who plays Carl Drago at the HBO party. So oh. I, I wanted to give my parents the opportunity to meet a cast member from Game of Thrones. So I introduced them. And my mother, this super conservative, elegant woman, completely fangirled in the middle of the HBO. <laughs> like, clutched her heart and said, oh, my God! Like, was so over the top. And I actually was like, I don't know who you are right now. Like, so somebody at the party said, is he really good on the show? And my mother was like, he doesn't even have to talk, just look at him. Really? Yeah, and I was like, your Easy. husband is sitting Easy, right here. Mom. Yeah, it was Take uncomfortable it for me. Here. Yeah. Now, I understand on that program, there's a great deal of, of naked activity. This is true. Yeah. Sometimes I watch, you know, women doing things to each other on the show, and I think, wow, my parents watch this show. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Wow. Okay. Uh, now, you met, it was talking about education. I can remember when you were here before. Yeah. You were just getting ready to give a commencement address. Uh, what where were you going to give the commencement address? <laughs> At my alma mater, Which, George Washington University. That's big time stuff. It was a big deal. <laughs> you well, you no. terrified me. You terrified me. What are the, what are George, uh, what are the team's names? It's George Washington George University. Washington. It's the Colonials. The Colonials. Yes. And the Hoyas are Georgetown University. That's right, that other school. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, it's a big deal because people look to you as, okay, four years of education, here's our college, here's what we know. Now, now we're going to get something, some wisdom. I actually have to thank you mm. because when I came here, you so filled me with fear and dread Good. that I went home and worked on the speech like my life depended on it. I applaud you, that. It, you made me feel like I was walking into enemy territory. I, I, so, I, I, in, in this sense, I, I played the role of your mother. That's kind right. Of, yes. That's right. That's right. Yes. That's good. I've done That's that good. before. <laughs> <laughs> Don't so, fangirl on, like, sexy TV men. How, how did it go, then? It went really well, thanks to you. It was H How good. long was the address? I think it was about 12 minutes, I want to say, maybe. And what, what was the theme? Um, the theme was that you <laughs> have to be the lead character in your own life's story. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that yeah. you can't um, you can't let other people write your story for you. Here's where I always uh, like to begin with: is it's not an ending; it's a beginning. That's good. Always, Commencement. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I told them they should ask you <laughs> to do it next year. No, no, no. Because no, I know no, how no. you're dying no, to no. do this. And did you mention my name in the address? Well, when I got there, they were so excited <laughs> because they had seen the show and they had oh. seen me talking about it. And so then they had great expectations because of you. Now, this is... Um, uh, I've met uh, the president uh, and his wife. Are you bragging? I, I don't know. Wait a minute. And I don't, I don't know that I... I think I met the daughters, maybe. I don't think I met the daughters. Okay. But you really know them. You, you have been places with them. You, you know the first lady. Yeah. And you're, are you, like, friends and stuff? I don't know 
know that we're friends. I, I mean, in my imagination, we're friends. Um, <laughs> but we are, we work together. I'm on a committee for the White House that we talked about last time I was here, the President's Committee for the Arts and Humanities, and she's the chair of that committee. And I started getting to know her during the campaign. I just think she's amazing. I think they're both pretty tremendous. And so uh, as part of my work on the committee, I work with a school in D.C. called Savoy Elementary, and we work on arts education in that school. It's such a great school. And so the First Lady came with me to visit the school a couple months ago. It was really fun. And a uh, big thrill for the kids. And who, who are they excited about, you or, or the First Lady? Definitely the First Lady. Really? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Well, I was. Maybe I'm projecting. <laughs> Now, I became like a sixth grader. We had uh, we had uh, uh, she uh, said that the people aren't drinking enough water. Did you know that? She has a huge campaign about that actually. That's right. <laughs> ah. mm. Mm. I, and I know it's important to hydrate. I didn't realize that people were not hydrating because it seems to me that the amount of water people are drinking is just about what it ought to be. I, d I don't know these things. I don't think so. No, it's I supposed to be like eight cups of water a day. That's right. Now, how much do you, water do you drink a day? Um, I drink a lot of water every day. <laughs> is this you at the uh, school <laughs> you were talking about in Washington, you and the First Lady? Is that what we're looking at here? Yes, yes. I had to dance because the school, I had been with the kids the week before and they taught me the Lindy Hop. And so then when they found out the First Lady was coming, they, they asked me to perform the Lindy Hop with them at the school. Now you say Lindy Hop, uh, th this is, all I know this is a dance that is so far before your time, there's no reason that you <laughs> Are should- Are you flirting that with you me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is this is the A stuff too. <laughs> I like I get uh, the A game. Yes. <laughs> but to tell people, to, first of all, tell them for whom the dance is named, and then how, what is it? I don't know who the dance. What? Is. What? Oh my goodness! Who is it named uh, for? Uh, unless I'm completely dumb, let me turn this over to Paul. Paul. Paul? Who? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Paul. That looks like Dave knows, though. He Harry, knows. I'm sorry. Dave, who, who is the I, name there? I would say uh, Charles Lindbergh. Oh, I bet you're right, of course. Wow. Lucky Lindy. Of course. Lindy. Of course. I, I think because, of I mean, course. one of the things that helped him cross the Atlantic solo was, was he the dance. danced in the cockpit. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clear this dump. <laughs> well, how, how, how does it that go? That was good. Oh, it was good. Wasn't it? <laughs> uh, what, what, now, what do you, when a person does it, what does a person do? Um, or just do it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Lindbergh, <laughs> famed aviator choreographer. It's amazing. Uh, what's Huge go JLo inspiration. What's going on with uh, uh, what the, we're talking the scandal? Oh, my show? Yeah. The show I'm blessed to be on. We premiere tomorrow. Um, and uh, Scandal is really a show about a crisis manager. I play a woman named Olivia Pope who gets called into powerful people's lives when they're in trouble yep. and they need help fixing it. Mm -hmm. Not anything you would know anything about. And, um, <laughs> and she... I'm having chest pains. Now I'm flirting with you. Oh, no, please, please. So, uh, wait a minute, aren't you married? I am. <laughs> I am. Well, good for you. <laughs> uh, how long have you been married? It was recent. Recent? Like yes. uh, six weeks, a month, two months? What are we talking about? A few months. A few months? Yes. To whom are you but married? I don't talk about my personal life. Not either do I. <laughs> la, 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 la. Ah, buddy, 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 buddy. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Have some 
drinking water. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, yeah, take a look. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the third season premieres tomorrow yeah. night at yeah. 10 p.m. on another network. <laughs> Carrie Washington, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. <laughs> nice to see you.